Sir Barristan and Missande reveal to Daenerys that Grey Worm and Dario have indulged in gambling, having been at the contest since midnight and have missed a meeting as a result. She is irritated to discover that their contest is a game of who can balance their sword for the longest. Although the prize of the contest being the honor of riding at her side when the march resumes, Daenerys assigns the pair to guard the livestock as punishment for the childish game. When they fail to move, she warns them that the winner of the contest must find a new queen, prompting them to drop their weapons instantly. Grey Worm's gaze lingers on Masande, which Dario takes as a sign that he is interested in her, and points out that this problematic given Grey Worm's eunuch status. Grey Worm tells Dario that he is not a smart man for saying such things, to which Dario replies that he would rather have no brain and two balls. Later, Dario slips away from his post to discuss strategy with Daenerys. He gives her flowers under the guise of a lesson in the botany of Slaver's Bay, in which he points out that Daenerys must know the land she is to rule. At the gate of Marine, Dario volunteers to fight Marine's champion in single combat after Daenerys rejects the rest of her inner circle from fighting. Dario declines the use of a horse, noting that they aren't as intelligent as humans. Dario ends the duel with ruthless efficiency, striking down the horse with his stiletto and decapitating the dazed champion with his arrack. After the Miranese fire a volley of arrows in a symbol of displeasure, Dario urinates on the nearest one in a symbol of defiance. After Daenerys takes control of Marine, Dario announces at a council meeting that the Second Sons have captured the 93 ships of the Miranese navy on his orders. When asked by Daenerys why the Second Sons took the navy without being instructed to, he responds by saying that he heard she liked ships. It also comes to light that whilst Joffrey Baratheon's death has made Daenerys's position in her conquest of Westeros stronger, Yunkai has been retaken by the Wise Masters and Cleon has claimed dominance over Astapor. Later on, Dario comes to Daenerys' private quarters of the Great Pyramid and brings her flowers. As Danny refuses him, he tells he has only two talents in his life, war and women. Daenerys asks him about his loyalty and Dario swears his sword and life are hers and asks her to let him do what he can the best, to send him to kill her enemies. Instead, Daenerys focuses on the other thing Dario claims to be good at and orders him to take off his clothes. When he leaves her bedchamber the following morning he runs into Jorah, cheekily telling him that it's a good time to talk to Daenerys, as she is in a very good mood. Daenerys tasks Dario and the Second Sons with retaking Yunkai and killing every master who has taken control. However, Jorah convinces Daenerys to give the masters an ultimatum, to accept her abolition of slavery or die. She tells Jorah to catch Dario before he leaves, and to send Hisdar Zolorak with Dario and the Second Sons as her ambassador to Yunkai.